Now I've got a story on a football player who blew a fortune. Former Titans quarterback Vince Young, he reportedly went through $26 million in just a couple of years. How would you do that? Here's the details. Friends said he spent $5,000 a week at the Cheesecake Factory, and he once spent $6,000 at TGI Fridays. He would buy meals and drinks for teammates, friends, just about everybody. Ed Butowski is with us. He manages money for athletes, and he hears these stories all the time. Uh, I, cheese, cheesecake Factory bills, TGI Fridays, that doesn't right. add up to $26 million. No. What else did he do? No, I mean, that, that's, that's a good story, all right? And yeah. he did spend a lot. I actually know him. He goes by VY. I've actually sat with his agent. I sat with his uncle. They brought me in about three years ago to discuss things. Yeah. I, he's not a client of mine, right. uh, never was a client of mine. But I will tell you, what happened with Vince Young wasn't the spending. It was giving power of attorney and people who took his money. Because when you give that power of attorney, that happens. Stuart, today I'm meeting with some Somebody, a, f um, a father of an athlete whose family, through a power of attorney, and I'm not going to get into yeah, many right, details, right. took $9 million. The power of attorney is what's killing these young okay, men. Okay, now let, let's discuss right. this. The power of attorney. Right. That would mean I, Stuart Varney, mm -hmm. sign a form that's giving right. the power to spend my money to somebody else. Is or that in, it? That's exactly. Or take care of all their business affairs. These young men, th these young men are, for the most part, great people yeah. that just don't have the knowledge and know what to do. So what they do is they turn around and someone else says, sign this. I'm going to take care of everything. You worry about training. You worry about getting yourself in shape. You worry about being a great athlete. I'll take care of all your business stuff and they sign a power of attorney and then they wake up and they go hey what's this what's that I mean I can't tell you how many um, so Vince, different Vince situations Young, like this Vince Young signed away authority over his money absolutely to other people that's right who ran away with the money they were incompetent or were they thieves crooks I don't know you whatever it is don't sign power of attorneys. I can't tell you again how many of these young men I meet who sign those power of attorneys don't know what's going on, and we, financial advisors, need to do a better job of educating them, not their families, wait, wait not their agents. We need to do a better but job. A man who makes $26 million in a couple of years or right. a year, whatever, mm -hmm. he's got an agent. Isn't it, doesn't the agent say, don't do that? No. No, the agent says, do that. To me, I mean, well, there are some great they, agents out there, but, but, the, but the whole system is set up where we need to educate the agents, the parents, and the players, and directly the players. I won't talk to the agents. I'll talk to the player. Because the player, it's their money, and they're not, these are not dummies. These are smart individuals. An that agent we need to makes an arm and a leg. If he that's or right. she is saying, that's okay, sign that power of attorney, mm -hmm. they are not doing their job. Because they're not just representing the athlete vis-a-vis -vis the sport, right. they're representing the athlete in its entirety. That's right. Give them good advice. That is right. Am I right? <laughs> you're you're, you're, right. That's the smoking gun. Yeah, I, the smoking gun here? The agents. Now, there are some I, great ones. Larry Reynolds, one of the best agents in the business, okay? He's a great guy, takes good care of these people and educates them, but he does a good job. Ed Butowski, very interesting stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Good stuff.